Welcome back, Mindsetters. We are busy with math literacy and we are working with simple and compound interest. So the question that we are busy with is asking us to calculate 8% of 1,000 Rand. And we are continuing with this question where we are going to be calculating. So that's 1,000 Rand times, you could say 8, shift, and you could say percent. It will give you... 80 rand. So you know that you are going to be getting 80 rand. Or you could then go back and say 1000 rand times fraction 8 all over 100. So it depends on the type of calculator that you are using. Familiarize yourself with the calculator so that it doesn't give you a big shock um, on the day of the exam. Sometimes you might borrow someone's calculator and then when you get to the exam, you don't know how to use it. Make sure you know how to use the calculator that you are going to be using in the exam. So that gives us another 80 Rand, which should be giving us the same answer. And now we know that this person is going to be gaining 80 Rand per year. Okay, so they're investing 1,000 Rand um, into this account and they're saving it. So we want to know how much this person is going to be getting in interest. So they're going to be getting 80 Rand in interest every single year. It doesn't seem like much, right? But try putting the money under the mattress and see what happens. So we've got that 80 Rand. And now we need to take the 80 Rand because we want to know the interest after 10 years times 10 years which should give you 800 Rand. So we know that this person is going to be getting 800 Rand um, for 10 years. So you invest 1,000 Rand and you get out 800 Rand. So sometimes we don't read the clauses and the clauses will tell us this is how much percent you'll be getting. Um, and sometimes the money comes back and you feel like, wow, this wasn't so much money. So it helps us to know how much we're going to be getting. Let's see the second question um, in relation to this. It says to us, what is his total investment worth? So what I find is that sometimes learners will be confused between the interest and the total amount at the end. So the interest we know is going to be 800 Rand, which is what we have calculated just now. But now we want to know how much the investment is going to be at the end, how much this person is going to be getting back at the end, which is the total amount. And we know total is keyword for addition. So let's go and just calculate how much this person is going to be getting. Therefore, 1,000 Rand, which is the initial amount, plus the 800 Rand, which is the interest, meaning that this person is going to be getting back 1,800 Rand after the 10 years. The one thing you need to remember about simple interest is that you are getting the same amount of money over and over and over again. Let's move to compound interest. Compound interest is a little bit tricky. And some of you might be asking yourselves, why is she not using the formulas? In maths literacy, we test to see if you understand. Do you understand the reasoning behind the formula? So that's why you'll find that the question will not give you a formula and you are required to write down all the steps that you need to go through. Look at the allocation of the marks. You will not get so many marks if you are only calculating using the formula and just plucking in your values. So be super, super cautious, super, super careful. Maths literacy, throw the formula out the window. This is how we are going to be doing it unless stated otherwise. 